All right, in this video, I want to do an example of solving a word problem about consecutive integers. So what we want to do is find two consecutive integers whose sum is 11 more than three times the smaller. So again, I think the hard part in these is just kind of getting the initial equation set up that you have to solve. So again, I'm simply going to call my consecutive integers. I'll just assume, I'll call the smaller one x. And then to get to a consecutive integer, the one right after it, I would just have to add 1 to that. Okay, so it says their sum is 11 more than 3 times the smaller. So their sum would be x plus, x plus 1. So that's the sum of our two consecutive integers. Okay, is... Again, my is, I usually read that as an equal sign. It says it's 11 more than 3 times the smaller. Well, let's see. 3 times the smaller, I could write that as 3 times x. Okay, and again, they're not equal. It says the sum on the left side is actually 11 more than this side. So since this side's actually bigger than this side, it says we would have to put a plus 11 over here. And now everything would be equal. It says we have the sum of two consecutive integers that's 11 more than three times the smaller. So again, now in this case, it's just a matter of doing the algebra and solving for x. Again, so you can imagine there being a positive 1. If we distribute that, we'll simply get x plus 1. So on the left side, we have x plus x, which is 2x. Again, plus 1 left over. On the right side, we have 3x plus 11. I like to keep my x's positive, so I think I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Okay, so on the left side, we're just going to be left with a positive 1. On the right side, we have 3x minus 2x, which is 1x. Still have our plus 11. And then I'm, to get rid of our positive 11, I'm going to subtract 11 from both sides. And now it says on the left side we have 1 minus 11, which is negative 10. On the right side, we're simply left with x. So we've now found one of the integers. And again, we said the other one, you simply add 1 to x. So we would get negative 1, excuse me, negative 10 plus 1, which would be negative 9. So it says our two integers in this case are the numbers negative 10 and negative 9.